dilutions, what do the numbers mean? There are two acceptable ways to write dilutions. The first one would be simply write one, for example, to one. It would mean one part sample to one part diluent. The other way to write it down would be, for example, a one to two, and in this manner, it is one part sample to two parts total. These are actually the same dilution, so I can see that can be confusing sometimes to folks. Uh, another way you could write it uh, for, let's give it a second example, for example, a 1 to 3 in this manner would be the same as a 1 to 4 in this writing. So again, one part sample to three parts diluent is the same as one part total one part sample over four parts total. The advantage of using this type of writing is that this number right here, the four, is actually your dilution factor. And uh, the advantage of that is if you took a sample and if you have to dilute it, it's because your original reading was too high. So now you are diluting your sample so you can get a, a better reading. So the result on your diluted sample always needs to be multiplied back by the dilution factor so you can have what the original concentration of the analyte was. And so here your dilution factor, for example, would be 4. So you would multiply the results back by 4 to get your original concentration.